Hello and welcome to the section 9 of the course Troubleshooting Steps. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about various troubleshooting steps and we will learn that how to analyze these packets. Let's start with the video coloring techniques. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. So we are going to learn about what are the various coloring techniques are available and coloring methods. So now what you can do here, you can open Ubuntu and then I'm going to provide more information about these coloring techniques. So guys, uh, I'm here at Ubuntu and we already have a file. We have captured few packets inside our network and these are the packets we have. And we also have the capture file so you can open anyone inside Wireshark. So what are the coloring? So as you can see that there are various packets are available like ARP packets, TCP packets, TNS packets are available here and also HTTP packets are also available here. So you can see here that they have different different colors. You can see here that DNS have different color, HTTP has different color and if you can come up then you can see ARP has different color. So with the help of these colors we can define the protocols inside Wireshark. Now how you can change these colors or how you can remove the colors. So if you want to remove all the colors here so you can click here and you can see here that we have removed all the colors. Now it is white. If you want colors then you again click on that button and you will get colors again. Now how to change these colors? So you can click view, you can click coloring rules and here you can see we have these rules available here. So this is Wireshark coloring rules default. So you can see here that different different colors for different different packets. If you can see that ARP packets are in pink color and if you check that TCP and UDP have different colors available here. Now how to change? You can see the two buttons here foreground and background so you can change the foreground and background of these packets for example if i want to change the arp packet so i can select here i want to change the foreground so as you can see here that arp packets foreground is in black color and background is in pink color click view click coloring rules if you want to specify a particular packet select it click foreground you can select which color you want for example, if I want red color, I can select it and now foreground is red color. So and click OK. Now you can see here that this ARP packet. So you can also change the background. For example, if I want to change background of this, again you can click view, click coloring rules, select ARP, click background. And for example, if I want a yellowish background, so I can select it, click OK, and click OK. So you can see here that now I'm able to distinguish this packet you can see here that the background is yellow color i'm able to see it properly so that's why coloring rules are very important so if you want to specify packets inside wireshark if you want to distinguish them then you can these coloring methods right it will help you to analyze these packets different different packets inside your network 